What's up guys, my name is Eric and today I'm reviewing the Eldridge Parka from Triple Fat Goose. And that's FAT as in F-A-T, which is an acronym that stands for For Arctic Temperatures. Triple Fat Goose is a luxury outerwear company that has been around since the 1980s. They have been featured in magazines such as Vogue and Esquire, just to name a few. Now if you've seen my reviews before, you should know I like to get to the point. So without further ado, let's get this review started. Let's start with the color options. The Eldridge is offered in four different colors, black, charcoal, navy, and olive. Now when it comes to sizing, sizes range from small to 5XL. And if you're curious about exact measurements, stick around for the on-body fit portion of my review. In terms of materials, the shell of the parka is made of a two-layer twill laminate fabric that has a water-resistant DWR hydrophobic coating and is also windproof as well. The Eldridge Parker has a fill power rating of 675 making it a very warm jacket suitable for frigid temperatures. The body of the parka consists of 15.5 ounces of white goose down. And in case you're wondering, Triple Fat Goose is RDS certified, meaning that the down feathers were ethically sourced. The overall weight of the parka is around 4 pounds, which makes it a bit on the heavy side. Now let's talk about all the features of this parka, and there are a lot of features. First, there is an insulated down hood that is detachable and can be removed by unzipping it. The hood can be adjusted via a draw cord that is located on both sides of the hood. The rim of the hood is made from coyote fur, which I'm not a huge fan of considering it's from an animal, but like the down material, the fur is ethically sourced as well. The main reason it's used is because coyote fur doesn't freeze in snow and is known to not retain water. So that's the reason for them using real coyote fur. And like the hood, the coyote fur is also detachable via a zipper. On the interior, there is a single pocket that can be zippered. It's big enough to fit a wallet or a phone, great for securing your valuables. There is also an adjustable draw cord that allows you to adjust the fit of the waist area of the parka. Under the arm, there is additional ventilation that can be accessed via a zipper. Moving to the front, there are two vertical entry chest pockets with button flap closures that measures in around 6 inches deep. Moving to the bottom, there are two vertical entry pockets with button flap closures, which measures in around 7.5 inches deep. These same pockets also serve as side entry pockets, the interior of which is lined with fleece to keep your hands warm. On the left arm, there is a single pocket with a button flap closure, which measures in around 5 inches deep. On the lower right arm, there is a single zippered pocket, which is measured in around 3 inches deep. Around the wrist area, there are retractable nylon storm cuffs with thumb hole openings. These are designed to keep water, wind, and snow from getting into the parka. Last but not least, there is a two-way front zipper that can be buttoned up as well. Now let's move to the overall fit. I'm around 5'8 and I got this parka in size small. Here is how it looks on me. I had some concerns about the length of the parka, but overall I think it fits me very well. For size small, the arm's length measures in around 25 inches, which lines up well with my own body measurements. So for the arms, the fit was very good in my opinion. Now when it comes to the body length of the parka, if you measure from the top of the back to the bottom hem, it's around 34 inches. So for me, that falls right about mid-thigh, which I felt lined up very well for my body. So here are my overall thoughts on the parka. I'll start with the overall build quality, and I have to say this is probably the nicest parka I have ever owned. Nothing about this parka feels cheap. From a quality standpoint, they did not cut any corners. In terms of storage, there is a lot of options to choose from. You will have a pocket for almost anything with this parka. The pockets are all deep and very secured so you won't have to worry about anything getting in or falling out. As I mentioned earlier, this parka was designed for arctic temperatures. Even though I'm wearing it inside, I can tell you that this parka will keep you not just warm, but extremely warm. You don't even have to layer it up underneath if you plan on wearing this parka. That's how warm it keeps you. Finally, the overall look and style of the parka is definitely on point. It has a great shape to it that complements the body of the wearer, especially with the adjustable draw cords that help with the overall fit. At the end of the day, there isn't much to complain about when it comes to this parka. The only minor complaints for me would be the use of coyote fur, which they did give a good reasoning for, and also the fact that it's not 100% waterproof, but overall, it's still a very high quality parka that would definitely get the job done. It comes with a hefty price tag, but I'll tell you now, you're getting a lot of value and functionality in return for the price you are paying. If it's in your budget, it's definitely worth it in my opinion, as I consider a high quality parka a great investment piece for any wardrobe. It's up to you if you want to get it or not, I'm just here to inform you from my perspective. Alright, that's it for me today. My name is Eric, as always, thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm out.